this is going to be a video product review, mostly an install video because I can't review something that I have not used yet. 3M Safety Walk Tape. Uh, there's some good and bad reviews online about it, how it comes up. It's obviously going to come up when it's uh, in a shower. That's just uh, how it's going to be. In the instructions, they do recommend if it's going to be around water that you apply contact cement first. I think that's their 777 spray adhesive. I'm not going to do that. So, this is the tape. Nice big long roll of tape. More than enough to do a shower. And they want you to have rounded edges, rounded ends. I'm probably not going to round it. I don't know if this is clear. I'm assuming it's clear. So, let's do the video. Thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, leave a comment. Affiliate link in the video description, including a donation link if you want to help me out. Thank you. This is going to be a video product review of a roller. This is a roller that I'm going to be using to apply the 3M safety walk tape. You can use this roller for any application that you want that it's intended for. Obviously. It comes with a little storage bag. Um, to open this up without... Oh, there we go. This is heavy duty. I didn't know what I was going to be getting when I bought it. The handle is very nice. It's a nice, comfortable fit. I'm not sure what this thing is for. Um, the roller is good. And when you're applying tape or certain, well, tape or other things, to uh, you need to use a roller, or you should use a roller to help you get out the air bubbles and apply it the right way. So I'm going to be testing this thing out now, and uh, I'll put the tape on the shower. You'll see uh, what I think of it in a few minutes. Thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, leave a comment, donation link in the video description, along with an affiliate link if you want to buy this. I don't remember the company's name, but I will put all that info in the video when I get home. Um, this is well made. This is definitely not cheap. This is a, a good product, I can tell you right now. This is... I do a lot, a lot of reviews, and this is something with decent quality. Here we go. Let's test it out. Okay, people, this is the shower. Hey, everyone, this is the shower that I'm going to be putting the 3M safety walk tape in. Um, they want you to clean it, obviously, to get rid of the uh, oils and dirt and soap scum in the shower. They recommend isopropyl alcohol. That is wonderful. Use uh, whatever you want. Just make sure you wear some breathing protection so that junk doesn't go in your lungs. Um, I've read reviews where they say they washed it down and then they used a fan and gave it two days to dry. You don't need to do that. Put a hair dryer in here if you're safe with that. Well, don't do that. That's not safe. You don't need to do that. Put a fan in the room. Let it air dry for an hour or so. Wipe it down with a paper. Well, if you wipe it down with a paper towel, you're probably going to put lint on there. Cotton cloth would be good. Um, use a fan. Just let it dry. Let it air dry in, in an hour or so, as long as you don't have a lot of water in there. It should be all dry and clean. So here's the 3M tape that we're going to be using. Here's the 3M tape. I'm going to go uh, apply it and let you see what it looks like. Now, when you're putting tape like this on a shower, you cannot run it across the grout line. The reason you can't run it across the grout line is water is going to go in the grout line under the tape and the tape's going to come off probably in a couple days to a couple weeks. You need to put the tape inside of a square of tile or nowhere near the grout line. Um, I'm assuming this is clear, so it probably doesn't matter what it looks like. Nobody's going to be going in your shower. Nobody really cares if it looks silly or foolish or if the pieces aren't cut evenly. Some people are saying they put rounded ends on there or they made a uh, something so they could make it look fancy. You know, do what you want to do. You don't really need to waste all that time. This is just to protect you and to be safe and chances are very good you're going to end up pulling this thing up within a few months and putting back more tape. So just put it down, make sure it works, try to cover as much of the tub as you can. If you're worried about the step-in piece, put that over here too on the step 
So I'm going to go, uh, you don't need to watch me cut it with the scissors. I'm just going to put some of the stuff down. I'll show you how I apply it with the roller that I bought. Also leave an affiliate link for that in the video description and you can see what it looks like. I can't really say again how good this stuff is. Um, reviews are all over the place with these tapes. This seems to be one of the better tapes out there, but some people say it lasts two years, three years, five years. Other people say two weeks and they were they had to replace it again. It all depends on how well you clean your surface and how well you make it adhere. That's why I spent the extra money and bought the roller. And like I said, it really doesn't matter how wonderful it's going to look. Just try to make sure this is as clean as possible. I washed this down already and there's already dirt that's on here. And I know I'm putting my hand oils on here. I'm not too worried about it. What I did is I cut a piece that will fit inside the tile. And I'll, I might scatter it. I don't really know what this looks like yet. We'll see. The whole goal is just to make sure that there's something so that when the person has their foot on there, I've got something in all of the tiles in the middle. We've got the piece of tape. Um, I'm going to see how hard it is to remove the backing. Not too bad. If you don't have nails, you better have an X-Acto knife. Uh, oh, this is clear. Okay, so this is pretty neat. I don't know if you can see it. I'll have to zoom in on the video. So... You really don't want your finger oils to be on here. And again, for me, I don't really care what this looks like. It's a clear tape. Uh, some people need to have things done a certain way, and that's up to you. For me, I don't really care. So I'm trying to get this thing in a good position here. Let's just put it on over here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I've got my piece over here and I've got my roller so I'm just gonna roll this on now normally what people would do is they would put the tape on and then try to roll the bubbles out probably not the best way to do it try to do it like I'm doing put the piece on and apply it with the roller now this is not a perfectly I guess it's a kind of flat tile but you, you do want to do it this way I'm, I'll say right now I'm glad I bought the roller this is the way to do it um, I don't know if you can see it. It's definitely noticeable, and I don't think it really matters because once you're in here and you're not slipping, that's really all that matters. I could probably have put this over here and doubled up two pieces, but um, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go apply the rest of the tape. This is definitely something you should buy or have. And I'll let you see what it looks like at the end. So far, the last three times that I've used this roller, in the last five minutes, pieces of rubber are coming off. I don't know if they're coming off from here or if they're actually coming off from the roller. Um, yeah, so applying this with the roller is really the only way to go. You can see there's lots of different different discolorations. I don't know if that means some of the adhesive is sticking and other parts of it aren't, or it's just hard to say, but the roller is definitely starting to come apart. As I apply the tape, I'm noticing that it, it goes on much better if you just use your fingers. You're probably going to wear your fingers out if you do this, but it seems to be adhering much better by using my fingers. Um, I hope I didn't go too far. You can see where it kind of looks like it's not fully down, it's not completely sealed. So I think if I would do this again, I would definitely use, see that little black stuff? That's the, uh, that's the roller from coming apart. I would definitely use the contact adhesive that they're talking about. I think it would stop you from having these gaps over here where it doesn't look like it's fully pressed down on the tile. Update is this roller is not good. It is coming apart all over the place, and I've only been using it for about 10 minutes. 
and I've ruined this piece over here because the roller got down underneath the material. So this roller is going to be returned. I will leave an affiliate link in the video description. It is very handy to use, but it is not good quality. It's fallen apart within minutes. I don't think it's going to last long, and I'm not going to pay money for something that is coming apart right away. But I'm going to finish it off. You can see I've got two pieces over here. This was the first piece I put on it. I probably should have put in uh, closer to the edge. So I'm just doing two. I'm going to do two pieces per tile. And it's not the most attractive, but I think it's going to be... Let me see. I got my hand on here. Now, without water, my hand's just sliding right over this like there's no... like there's nothing on here. So this really doesn't seem like it's doing anything. But after it's applied, I'm going to put some water on my fingers and see what happens. If I don't buy the roller, I'm going to return the roller because it's already left enough dirt in the shower that I don't really want to mess with it. Just save one of these pieces and slowly use this as you apply the tape. Get out your little air bubbles. I don't really think there are any air bubbles in here now. If you apply it slowly, you should be fine. The tape is kind of thick. But this seems to be working much better than the roller. The roller that's sitting over there that I'm not going to use. Um, I can't guarantee that water is not going to come up in this tape. But again, next application, and I'm sure there's going to be one, is I will use their adhesive. I saw online how they recommended their Spray 777. Um, I think if you spray this thing, I don't know, it's going to have this adhesive all over your tile in your grout. But I might have to do that. What I'm going to do is the very first comment in on the video, I will pin it with my comments. So if this thing falls apart within a couple weeks, that will be the comment to look for to see what, uh, what the results are after I post the video. Um, it's very easy to do. I'm just cutting pieces that fit right in the tile, separating the backing and applying it. Not the most attractive, but nobody really cares when it's all said and done. right at the edge. I thought it was going to start to pull up. Yikes. You can hear that. Listen to that. I wonder if that's a little gap that's in there, a little air bubble that's... So far, it's very easy to install. It's really easy. And there seems to be a lot of tape. This is the end of the roll of tape. So let me show you what a roll of tape covers. What does it say? It is two inches wide, two inches wide, and I don't know how many feet, but that's okay. This is what it covers. Now, I scatter the tape around in different directions. Some people who have uh, issues are not going to be able to deal with something like this. I don't know how long this tape is going to hold. I totally anticipate I will be doing this again. You can see some of the discoloration over here, and that is where I, I don't think there's air gaps. I just think it's the adhesive. I wish they would have put a thicker, gooier adhesive so I wouldn't have to mess with contact tape. I'm sure this is going to hold. I just don't know for how long. You can see the little black specks all over the shower. That is the roller that is falling apart. Um, I put some pieces right on the steps over here. So none of these pieces are exactly the same length. And for me, it doesn't bother me. It's not perfectly even on the edges. It doesn't bother me. I didn't round it over here. Maybe they want you to round it so that when the foot comes over, it doesn't see my fingers catching right now. And maybe that's why they want it rounded. If I do this again, I will definitely buy contact adhesive like they recommend. So we've got what? Partial piece here, two, 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 two. You get an idea of how much this is going to cover. Um, this is really just to make sure the person doesn't slip. I don't know if they're going to be happy. So there we are again, more pieces of the roller. I don't know how happy they are going to be with the way this looks, but they're not happy with the fact that this has to be done in the first place, but they don't want to slip and fall. So. Um, not the most attractive, but once you're standing in the shower, nobody's looking down at their feet. 
to see what this looks like. They're just making sure that they don't fall. So let me do one quick test to see does this stuff even matter. Okay, we're over here at this lovely sink. I got some water on the tips of my fingers here. And we're gonna go over now and see does this stuff even do anything? Well, you can see my fingers are slipping all over the place. So, is this worth installing? Thumb, that's very slippery. My thumb's just, oh, that's a fall. That's a definite fall. Ooh. No traction at all without the tape. And I can feel right now, I'm not elderly, we'll all get there one of these days, but I can feel that this is just, this is scary. Now I've got a dry foot, but until the water gets in the shower, okay, so let's go try over here. Okay. Dry hand. Okay, so there it is. Look at that, the finger, I'm not going to press hard. Yeah, that makes a difference. Wet fingers on the slippery tile. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's no oh baby. That's scary. Let's go on this tape over here. Okay, this is not like the tape that you see in a boat or the kind of sandpaper, the 80 grit sandpaper tape, which might be the next thing that I might have to install. But this, this gives some bite, some traction. Look at the difference. Boom. That's just slides. This doesn't slide as easy, easily. So I don't know how great the tape is overall. Um, as I said, check out the comment in a couple weeks, and I'll let you know, is it still sticking? Is there water underneath the tape? Did it come up at the corners? Um, some people say you might want to use a, a heat gun or a hair dryer to kind of lightly put it over this material and seal in the glue. I don't know if I'd recommend that. You might melt the plastic. You might cause a lot of dangerous fumes that you really don't want going in, in the air. But um, the roller, the roller makes a difference, but the roller's a piece of junk. Honestly, it's just not worth the money. But if you're okay with that, spend the money, buy it. It will make the job a little easier. And then keep it or throw it out. That's up to you. But as far as the tape, very easy to apply. The longer you do it, the easier it becomes. Can I say that? And uh, is it effective to be determined? Are they going to be happy with the way this looks? Probably not. Do I care? As long as they don't fall, that's all that matters to me. Thanks for watching and be safe. That is the final job. So when you're standing out here, you're going to see a whole bunch of tape. But as long as it works, that's all that really matters. None of this tape is going to be attractive no matter how you put it on. Even the 80 grit, uh, very rough tape. But I think it's going to work. I'm happy that I put it on. Um, what I want to do, I'm going to take off my shoes and I'm going to test it out right now. Here we go. Let's face it, nobody has attractive toes, but I think my toes are pretty nice. Um, let me go over here where there is no tape. Now, I know there's no water, but my foot is really not sliding at all. It's definitely gripping on the tile. With water, that might be different. Um, yeah, the other person, they just don't have the, uh, the grip strength anymore. So let me try over here. Um, my foot is really biting on the tile when there's no tape on it. For me, I don't notice a difference. Of course, I'm not elderly and I don't have the shower filled with wetness right now. And when you have wetness, let's face it, that changes everything, doesn't it? But this does give some traction when I'm standing this way. So when I'm standing this way, yeah, when I'm standing this way, there's traction. There's a lot of traction. Okay, so if the person's standing here, so my recommendation, I think I did the right thing by putting it kind of 
in different directions. This is good. This is definitely good. Um, change the directions of the pattern so that you have traction, and I think you're going to be good. Again, check out my post in a couple months. I'll let you know how fast this uh, wore off and if it was effective or not.